Hello and welcome here to Talking CB and welcome back to the channel here for another video and today we're again going to be discussing the summer transfer window. What else is there to talk about at the moment? And here I bring you today a very, very exciting rumour I have to say. Throughout the summer, we're going to be linked with a number of players. So I think it's important to sort of look at those players, look at the rumours, look at the reports, look how many different reports there are on one player, and obviously assess whether the source is credible or not. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking at a particular rumour, one that's excited many Barca fans so far, and that is the rumour pertaining to Usmane Dembele, the Borussia Dortmund winger who has been heavily linked with Barcelona in the Spanish media at the moment. So first of all, let's look at the report. Let's look at exactly what was said in terms of this transfer. It came out yesterday morning about Usmane Dembele and it was Barcelona paper Mundo Deportivo speaking about the transfer. They reported that, firstly, that Dembele is ready to leave Dortmund. That was the headline. It was all about Dembele to Barca. It basically said that Usmane Dembele was very, very disappointed in the way that Thomas Tuchel was relieved of his duties at Dortmund this summer. You all know that he has left the club. He fell out with the board of directors. He also fell out with some of the Dortmund players. But clearly Dembele was a fan of his and is one that certainly thrived under his coaching this year. And he was very, very sad at Tuchel's departure. And he was ready now to leave Dortmund after just one season at the German club. Muno Deportivo went on to say that interest in De La Feu from Barcelona has recently gone cold. Apparently now they're not so interested in bringing back De La Feu and instead are targeting a more high-profile winger for more expensive fee, but of a lot more quality. And the man that they want is Dembele. Now, apparently Dembele is very, very fond of Barcelona. He was was heavily linked with us last season as well when he was leaving Wren. He joined Dortmund last summer. And the thing is, for me, looking at it now, the amount that we'll have to pay for Dembele, it is so frustrating, really, that we didn't go more in for him last summer. Because Wren sold him, it's undisclosed, but it's believed to be between about 15 to 20 million euros they actually sold Dembele to Dortmund for. And that's frustrating, isn't it? So we could have nearly bought Dembele for the price that we could sign De Feo back for this summer, which is going to be 12 million if we choose to get him back. But of course, this season has been very, very important to Dembele's development. And he did actually say last summer he went to Dortmund to play first team football, to play every week, to experience one of the leagues and one of the best in Europe. So he's gone there. He's thrived. He's done outstandingly well. He's handled the pressure of playing in front of a, a fantastic crowd that you get at Dortmund. And he really has had an excellent debut season there. Is he ready now to move on to Barcelona? It's remained to be seen. But it is absolutely clear that if we did sign him, he would be an outstanding signing. Now, what added to that report from Munde Deportivo was then that we went, of course, Everybody at the moment is on international duty. There's a lot of friendlies being played this week and there is World Cup qualifiers being played this weekend. Now, what has been said by Samuel and Titti at the French national team is that he said this, according to reports, Barcelona are indeed interested in Dembele. He said there's truth to the rumours. He said both parties will have to agree um, on the transfer, but he did say that Dembele would be a great addition to Barca. Now, um, Titti was just speaking honestly. I don't think he knows an awful lot. I don't think he's involved in the deal at all, of course, but he would have heard different things. Of course, Dembele is a French international. He would have heard different things floating around the French camp about the deal. So it's just interesting that he decided to speak about it when it was only a report in Munda Deportivo that particular morning. Now, Sport have gone on to say different things about Dembele, but they're still saying that we could well bring back De La Feo this summer. But it does seem to be clear that we are pursuing a winger to come in this summer. Now, the problem was last summer, like I said, Dembele wanted first-team football. But the difference is this summer is that he could actually get that at Barca. Now, he's not going to be coming in to replace one of MSN. He may well be coming in to play in addition to those. Because, of course, as the season went on, we saw Messi come out of that right wing role and actually slot into more of a number 10 natural position for him, just behind the striker, playing in a sort of attacking midfield position. Now, if Messi wants to play there all the time, that does free up a slot, if we possibly play three at the back, to play an extra player there on the right-hand side in another the winger role and the man that could obviously slot into that very very well is Usmani Dembele so 
the first team football factor has now sort of slipped out of play because he could definitely come here and get that next season. Also, based on his performances throughout this season, it's proved that he can definitely handle the pressure in the European elite. If we just take a look at his stats, which of course don't mean everything, but if you've watched his performances, you will understand that these stats do back up how good he's actually been. He made 22 uh, starts for, uh, for Dortmund in the Bundesliga this season, making 10 sub-appearances. In that time, he scored six goals, but more importantly, he made 12 assists and was man of the match on no less than five different occasions. Uh, in the Champions League, Dortmund, of course, had a decent campaign. They finished top of their group ahead of Real Madrid, in fact. They reached the, um, the quarterfinals. They went out to Monaco in that um, particular match. He made nine appearances in the Champions League, one of those as a substitute, so 10 in all, and again, two goals, but six assists. So he really has done very, very well this year in terms of the creative side of his game. He plays predominantly on the right-hand side, but throughout the season, he has been showing his versatility. He's played at a deeper wide position, so he can play as a winger, he can play as a wide midfielder. He's also been used centrally, just behind the striker, Aubameyang, on a few occasions by Thomas Tuchel, and he's definitely been switching around the board, and he's shown all those different positions that he can play there. He's very, very comfortable on the ball. He's got lightning pace. He's very, very good in front of goal in terms of his decision-making. And that's the most important thing for me because he's only 20 years old. There's a lot that he's still got to learn. There's a lot more that can be developed out of him as the years go on. But the thing that strikes me at the moment is many young players have gone to the top and sort of fizzled out, you know, they, they've sort of just, just gone away. He hasn't done that. He was outstanding at Rennes when he was there for a season or so, and he, he really, really impressed there. Uh, he won the Liga on Young Player of the Year award, I believe, in his, in his last season there. He earned his big move for Dortmund, and he didn't crumble under the pressure. He thrived upon it. He took the number seven shirts. He's been outstanding throughout their campaign, and he, he's really contributed across all fields of play. And the most important thing about his performances for me as a young player his final ball his decision making in the final third for a young player is brilliant because decision making and that, that, that decision that you make in the final third you can't teach that and that doesn't really come with age you've either got it or you haven't and as a young player he's definitely got it he knows what the decision to make is he knows the right time to play the pass he's so so good in those final third areas and that could be very very important for us because a lot of our work as you know is done in that final third we often push the opposition back and it's often a matter of timing that's why Lionel Messi has been so so effective this season in a creative role he, his timing is impeccable. He can see a pass. He's got fantastic vision. And I think Dembele has really shown that this season. Down the right-hand side, he's got electric pace, like I mentioned. He's very, very good at one-on-ones. You know, taking on players for him is absolutely no problem. And I just think he's got all the qualities to succeed at Barcelona. But, of course, the big question is, are we going to sign him? Are we going to be able to prize him away from Dortmund? Now, what I would say is, Dortmund this summer are going to be likely going to be selling their best players, like they always do. They're not very good at hanging on to their players. If a bigger offer comes in often they can't really refuse it and they don't fair play to them they let their players move on Dembele's done a great job for them this season so if the offer was right they might let him go they might be selling Aubameyang but the thing is Aubameyang has been outstanding for them this season and a number of clubs are interested but we're not quite hearing the sort of fee demanded to be like Mbappe or something like that we're not hearing 100 million for Aubameyang we're hearing about 70 million euros now it doesn't seem like Dortmund is sort of wringing everything out of their players they're not charging extortion at fees, which leads me to believe that Dembele this summer could actually be attainable for us. Because it's very well known that this summer we've not got a massive war chest, you know, we're not owned by oil rich owners, we've still got a pretty limited budget for the elite club that we are. But if we do possibly sell some players, if we assess our targets for the other positions early on, we might end up going for Dembele if we can manage it and if the will for him is actually there to come. A quick word on that, I don't often like to go into these things, but it is worth noting uh, Dembele on Twitter recently has actually followed a Barcelona account. And if you look at his likes, he's actually liked quite a few different posts about Barcelona players, Lionel Messi in particular. Now, I'm not saying for any stretch of the imagination that that means he wants to come or he's close to joining. Most of the time, you can read absolutely nothing in it. But I just thought it was an interesting thing to bring to you guys' attention. So leave your thoughts down below, guys, on what you make of these rumours, which is all they are at the moment. We know that you've got very big priorities at right back to sort of fulfil. We've got to bring in a midfielder. Those have got to be our priorities. But if it is possible to bring in a player of Dembele 
plays quality, then really we should really jump on that chance because this is a young player that has taken the league by storm this season. He's definitely one of the hottest prospects in world football at the moment. If we can get him, we should surely go all out and try and do it. But that will remain to be seen. So leave your thoughts down below, guys, on Dembele in general. What do you think of him? What do you think he could bring to Barcelona? And most importantly, do you think it's possible to sign him this summer? Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. I will see you very, very soon. As always, it's been a pleasure. Vesca, Barca.